Hi kids! Today we will learn about some more types of forces. So let's get started. In our previous lesson, we learned forces can be contact forces and non-contact forces. And we learned some of them in detail. Now let's learn what is muscular force. Kids, where do you have muscles? It's in your body. So, muscular force is a force applied using our body parts like arms or legs. If we push something or pick up something or throw something, we are applying muscular force. All our daily activities like sitting, standing, walking, cycling, playing, swimming require some muscular force. And it's a contact force as it can move an object if it's in contact with the object. We cannot move any object without touching it. So, it is contact force. Now let's learn what is buoyancy. It is a force that keeps something floating. Do you ever wonder why certain things float while others sink? When an object is woolly, or partially immersed in water or any liquid, an upward force acts on it, which is known as buoyant force. And this force prevents anything from sinking or let it float. So, buoyancy is the ability to float. Some objects, like a beach ball, is very buoyant, while some others, like pebbles, stones, are not buoyant at all. That is, they just cannot float. Okay, kids, do you know what keeps the clouds floating in the air? It's the buoyant force that keeps the clouds floating in the air. You'll read more on it in your next grades. Now let's learn what is wind force. It is the force of moving wind. Wind force is helpful to us in many ways, but it can be destructive too. Wind force is helpful in flying kites, driving sailboats, flying parachutes, flying gliders, drying up clothes, and many more. Hurricane. Hurricane is an extreme windy condition where the wind force is too high that it can be very destructive it can fly away houses, cars, and trees, even big, heavy ships. It can become reason for the sinking ships, too. It can lead to a huge loss to property and life. Now let's learn next force. It's the force of moving water. Force of moving water can be used to sail boats. It's used for rafting. We are able to enjoy rides of water because of the force of moving water. Force of moving water is used in dams to produce electricity. Now, let's learn another force, and it is electrostatic force. Electrostatic force is the force of electrically charged objects. Take some small pieces of paper and a balloon filled with air. Now bring the balloon close to these papers. What do you see? These papers will stick to the balloon. This is electrostatic force between the papers and the balloon, which makes them stick to the balloon. Now take a comb and rub it on your head. Now bring it close to these papers. What do you see? The papers will stick to the comb or you can also lift the papers with a comb. This is the electrostatic force between the papers and the comb that make the papers stick to the comb. So this force picked up papers without touching them. That is, this is an invisible force. So, this is also an example of 
non-contact force. So kids, today we learned about some more force. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye. Oh,